Welcome back, everyone, to some more Brighter Shores. Today, we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, we've got some more quests for us to do. we still got to level up to 15 before I can start learning the bow training. And then uh, there's also, we got to get to a total level of 60. So we're going to try to do this uh, Lost Shipment quest. I'm guessing the stars are like difficulty in a way. So we got to go over to the Granoff Dining Room. Which I believe is... Where is it? I know I went past that area. At one point, I think I'm going the wrong way again. Pipe Alley. Where is it? Let's recenter. Don't worry, I'll find it. There's the town gate. We've already been there. We did one of the first quests. Here it is. Oh, it's literally right to my left here there it is ran off boulevard so i'm assuming there's probably a house at the end of this road just following the quest right now wait did i go the right way no i didn't <laughs> it, this game is very confusing at first when you're not familiar with the map here there it is with the uh the wolf statues there we go but anyways, it's so far it's been pretty cool. Uh, it reminds me very much of old school RuneScape or RuneScape back in the day, which I did love. I played it a ton. I mentioned that in my last one. And again, if you guys end up enjoying this one too, leaving likes helps a ton as usual. Uh, but let's see what we got for this next quest. Talk to Cohen. So much to do, so little time. What are you doing under my feet? I'm here on behalf of the city guard. You needed help with something? Yes, though the guards disrespect me by only sending a recruit. Hey, I might be a recruit, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. However, there are advantages to you being unknown. What do you need? I lost a sizable sheep shipment of Carthian Bombate. They were shipped to Hopeport on a boat named the Vincible and were claimed by a miscreant pretending to work for me. Some inquiries I've known a representative. Keep their mouth shut when I'm about. I need you to deduce who has our weapons and then report back to me. Oh boy. Investigation. Where should I start looking? Good talk to the Captain Shirker of the Vincible. He's docked in the port. Asuka ask around and hook hand. If there's stolen goods to be brought, the clientele there will know about it. Just don't reveal that you're a guard. Those types are inclined to help out the law. These are the types that aren't inclined to help out the law. What are the Bombate? They sound like a type of fruit. They are thrown weapons. Sometimes they're known as war darts. Okay. All right. Well, let's go check this out then. Um, we've got talk to Captain Shrieker and the Invincible. Talk to the clientele of the Hooked Hand. Maybe I could see the the boat being by search this. We're not gonna get in trouble for just searching their house, hopefully. Ooh, guard leather mail. Take some paper. I guess it doesn't matter that I'm taking this. Don't mind me. I wonder why it says it says 13 down. Open your tool belt. You have stored some items. Cesare displays which items you have on your tool belt. Alright, well we know where the hooked hand is, so let's head straight there first. So I took a look at the subscription plan. So like I said, this game is free to play and it's the first two areas like this one and the next one are completely like you don't have to pay anything at all, but there is a subscription. Now I would say the subscriptions actually like it reminds me of again, old school, 
uh, RuneScape because it's five ninety nine for one month, and that's a recurring one. Or uh, it's like twenty three dollars for ninety days, a, a one time fee. Or it's also, um, I think it was like seventy dollars for the entire year as well so i mean that's that's not too bad i mean compared to other subscription prices i've also watched a few videos i just want to see is so this is the salty spine the invincible yeah we still haven't found that one yet i also watched a video before this game came out of some somebody i guess that's familiar more with the creator of RuneScape, or one of the original creators, and I guess he's more like very anti microtransactions in the way. Not sure how true that is, but I mean, if that is true, that's always a good sign that they're going to try to always pro provide like value over, you know, trying to make the biggest money possible, or mo most amount of money possible. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, depending on how this goes, there's a chance that I might. I mean, if I have more time, I'm definitely getting at least two episodes in. This is obviously the second one. And if there's more time today, I might pick it up just to, you know, show a little bit of support because this is does seem like a cool project. I mean, again, this, this being early access so far, I mean, I, I think it feels pretty good for... And it seems like it probably has a decent amount of content for being early access. Ahoy there. I'm not planning on sailing anywhere right now. Not in this accursed storm. But so far I'm being stuck here at the port. I heard you lost a shipment of the Kohen the Steward. I want to talk about that. You guys are trying to pin anybody just to get your case closed. What? Maybe I can enter entertain you somehow? Not entirely comfortable socializing with guards. You're on duty, guard... You're an on-duty guard and all that, wearing guards' equipment and... Oh. I didn't realize that. So that's how he knows. Hello, sir. I heard you lost a shipment. I don't want to talk about that. I don't know ye. <laughs> Maybe I can entertain you? Entertain you? I heard there's a nice restaurant on the square at the Electrical Dab. Why don't we go there now? Yeah, why not? I'm kind of bored on board. I'll see you there. Okay, that... I, I'm not going to lie. I know it's small. It's very, like... Okay. But... That is cool to see. That depending on what you wear, they acknowledge it. Now, it could be just this quest. Who knows? I mean, still, that is, like, I, I do love immersion like that. He instantly knew that I was a guard. All right, where's the uh, delectable dab has not been found yet? Oh, man. And, it, and chat system still doesn't work because I don't think we can... Uh, talk to people just yet oh, oh, God. oh you know what they're fighting other people so let's see what's over here nook alley i was gonna connect it like tim's out little square passage discover that oh go back all right, let's try going in here. Manub Row. Discover this. Or for fish. All right, let's try going to the central waterfront. Maybe it's around there because there are some things here. Oh, yeah. Is it this? No, that's the hooked hand. Which is another place I did need to go to. Talk to the clientele. Let's try actually going there.
Maybe it's to the right of East Beach. South walls. Or it could be around here. It could be on Old East Street. Talk to Wellington. I help you. Why do you want to help him? You know him? I'm not going to help. I'm not going to help. I was just being polite. Not polite to offer your help you don't intend to give. <laughs> um, I'm tracking a missing shipment. Wellington, now you see you got on well and done. It's trying to take you up on your false offer for help. But I haven't heard of any shipment. We're not Oakport Lost Property Service. Oakport has lost property service? I've never heard of it. No, it doesn't. That's one of the big reasons why we're not a lost property service. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't like strangers around here, and you look strange than stranger than most. What about the barkeep? The barkeep always knows something. Hey. Do you hear about those missing somebody? Not your gossip sort of barkeeper. You guys are being very helpful right now. And you look stranger than most. Let me try talking just to Nelson. Looking for opportunities to better myself. In that case, you've come precisely to the wrong place. The place near do wells like ourselves to laze around. Everyone here is a fully law abiding citizen. What an odd slip of the tongue. There's a jar. You got nothing for me, Harris? All right. Big Sean. Hold on. Hi. Not interested in chit chat. Looking for some. I heard someone here is selling some. Like I said, I ain't interested in chit chat. Uh, the ship hand. These are the people with name, but my daily exercise. No idea what you're talking. Shady civilian. None of us are interested. Okay. Everyone's so confused. Like, wh who do we talk to? What about the barkeep? Hey, hey yourself. All right. We're not getting anywhere in here right now. Let's get out there then. Yeah, like this person has uh, my, like a down arrow three times under their name. 48. Is that saying you have to have fishing of like 38 or 48 to be able to even do that? All right, let's try going down here. And then we will go across. Orange shell, discover everything. That's so satisfying, discovering this stuff too. What is that? We got some kelp. You know what? I'll uh, forage some. Especially if we end up doing some of the... Oh, that's so nice. It's not shared. It's not shared between everyone. Oh, that's beautiful. That is amazing. Or, it, like, it is shared. Like, it's not one resource that only one person can interact with at a time. It's a resource that anybody can react, like interact with. Even if other people are already doing it. Like that, that is such a great quality of life feature. Maybe we should just like explore everywhere. Cause right now I have no idea where they're at. I also think that we're getting away from where we're supposed to be, but that's okay. The Ray Bay. Go over here. Oh wait, there's some question marks there. 
try discovering. Anything else here? That's it for now. All right, there's no way that the restaurant is going to be all the way out here, so cover these. Anything else? I'll grab the kelp again. Just on my way. Why not? I also saw that like, oh wait, oh, they can chat. Wait, it's actually working. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, was there still a question mark in it? No. Uh, go this way. I have a feeling it's going to be on that old East Street area. Because that seems to be a more populated location. I'm sure we'll find... Yeah, like this person has an arrow, an up arrow. I don't know what the arrows are for, though. Does it explain anywhere? I don't know if there's like a help. Go down this street. Yeah, I think this is it. This has got to be it. Oh, wait, no. This is a haircut place. Hairdresser. Okay, that's not it. Okay, surely it's this? No, Enchantress Shop. But where is the delectable dab? There's also an apothecary. Oh, there's a place on Stone Street. There's the hairdresser again. Can I forage this now that I have two? Oh, no. Oh, I hit one. That's what it is. I forgot. I always forget that you start at zero and then you go up. Melv's fishing supplies. Is this it? Come on. Delectable Dab Restaurant. Here we go. Wait, let's check this trunk. All right, the captain's right there. Let's go talk to the captain. Ahoy! Order some food then. Can I have some chicken pie, please? That would be two silver, 760 copper, sir. Uh, do I even have that? Hold on. Do I even have that kind of cash? How much cash do I have? I don't know. Oh, yeah, sure. You know what? Fine. I'll pay for the experience. I have 17. I'll have the same, please. That looks delicious. <laughs> Good man. It's hard to find decent dining partners in this town. Everyone is either a scoundrel or a snob. Hard to find much in between. So, what be line of work, if you don't mind me asking? I'm an aspiring hero. One day I'll save the world. I remember being young and ambitious like you. Nowadays, I just try and earn enough to keep the rum flowing. 
I've heard of a lost shipment of Krakoa and the steward. Who told you that? I ain't lost nothing. I were told to hand over the goods at four in the afternoon on threshing day. The man showed up. I handed over the goods, thus carrying my instructions to the letter. Who was this man? What's with the interrogation? Did Cohen send ye? I told him he wouldn't get a refund for his own mistakes. Can't you just... No refunds. Shit. Did I just fail it? I'm eating chicken pie now. Maybe you'll tell me about the lost shipment. Oh, okay. So we can do that again. You met an impossible? That's terrible. You must be so annoyed. Aye, though it shouldn't be my problem, not my fault, yet Cohen keeps hassling me for a refund. If it weren't so this bad weather, I'd sail off and be shot him. <laughs> Maybe I could track down the imposter for you. I don't know, he, he just seemed like one of the Lord Branoff's stuffed shirts, fellow in a bright blue waistcoat with a curly mustache. I'll remember that description and see what I can do. Wait, I feel like I've seen that guy. I totally feel like I've seen that guy. I hope that they have some sort of quest that like reminds me of like the King Varric quests and and stuff. There's some classic ones that I love. But I mean, of course, like everybody loved back in the day. I forget honestly the name, but there was like also the bank robbery one, which is good. Here it is. Man in a waistcoat. Good day, friend. What a lovely day. I heard you recently obtained a few plumbate. That's an unusual conversation opener. Who told you I had plumbate? I never re reveal my sources. Any such item are no longer in my possession. I sold them via a mysterious arms dealer known as the Illusion. But he screwed me out of my cut. He's a slippery character, and I cannot locate him. If you fellows from the town guard could locate of uh, the Illusions gang, I plan to retrieve the weapons. What is this plan? The Illusion was planning to sell the weapons to the Emperor of Beva, who is sending a servant known as Monobrow Sam on his behalf. Uh, Sam has been delayed to these storms, presenting an opportunity for you to do an impersonation trick. Pretend to be Sam, and they'll know, show you the weapon. I don't have a monobrow. He's going to tell me go to get a haircut. Someone around this town must know about hair. Give myself a monobrow? That's a ludicrous plan. That's why it'll work. It's so ludicrous, no one will expect it. I suppose I'll consider it. All right. <laughs> Wait, that's actually hostile. These quests are good. So far, I mean, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in Keratin. Oh, that's cool. Um, Hairdresser. I would like a monobrow, please. Pardon me. It sounded like you just asked for a monobrow. That's right. One mon monobrow, please. This goes against all my instincts as a professional stylist, but I could cut off a bit of your own hair and stick it between your eyes. Perfect. Eight silver. All right, here you go. No way. <laughs> I hope I don't have to pay to get rid of it. This isn't permanent, is it? When you're done with it, I'll gladly remove it for free and erase the monstrosity I've created. Okay, that is... That's so good. They knew what they were doing here. Alright, the man in the blue case... Uh, We need to go to the hook... And now. Go down here. Does anyone know if you can actually have to catch the fish for the quest or can you buy it? <laughs> That'd be funny. If you can buy it. Drop out? Yeah, I really want to know what the arrows are. Uh, the hook tan. Here we go. So we just need to convince somebody. Hey, you. Okay, not you. Big Sean. Hi. Looking for some. I guess that no chit chat.
Well, oh, Wellington. Dog fruit is in specialty of this tavern. They do ever sell some very fine drinks and some delicious snacks. Your pull sales pitch. Merely complaining about how hard it is to buy combat equipment these days. I think it's trying to keep us in the line by restricting weapon supply. Excuse me. Couldn't help but overhear that you're looking for Carthen. I know someone who could help. That's good. I should warn you, however, this will be a very confidential arrangement. But an extremely dangerous man. If you don't expect that, things will end badly. Who is this person who can supply me? No one even knows his name. Some say he doesn't even exist. He's known as the Illusion. Hard to buy things off someone who does might not exist. He has ways of doing business while preserving his anonymity. 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 Anonymous. Have you heard of frequently fresh fish stalls? Um, no, I'm not familiar with it. Never mind that. The stall is used as a method of secret communication. This week, you can send a message to the illusion inside of Fetid Flounder and receive his reply in a fish of your choice. It's an ugly fish, foul tasting. No one will normally buy them, so it sits on the stall until one of the illusion's operatives collects it. You should be able to catch one at the overgrown pond. How do you know all this? Watch, this guy's going to be that one. I have my own lines of communication with the illusion. What like? Do you bake him messages and cakes? No, and he's quite enough of this line conversation. Uh, do you have anything for catching them? I'm sure there's a shop in Hopeport that sells fishing equipment, though. Do you have anything I could write an order on? Not much into it myself, but some of the important people of Hopeport keep such things just laying around the desk. Okay, yeah, I, I do have a... Um, that. Okay, so we need to go get... A, I'll send a weapon order to the illusion by hiding a note in the flounder. Where, where, hold on. Let me talk to that guy again. Harris, Harris Slant. What was I meant to do again? To the fishmonger on Eel Street. Okay. Do you have anything for catching them? No. All right, I'll get right on it. Okay. I keep pressing M to open up the map, but you can't exactly do that. Okay. Mel's fishing supplies. What fishing supplies can you supply me with? A bucket? Oh, a fishing spear. Not enough money. Uh, sell? I currently have nothing to sell. I can't sell anything. And it costs 12. Uh-oh. Kind of broke. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't even buy that. Wait, did that guy have tattoos? Uh, quartermaster. Sell items. Do I have anything I can sell? Oh, okay. Here we go. Wait, this is... Whoa. Recruit sword. Yes. Get rid of that. Does it matter which one I keep? These are 291. I'll keep the chain mail torso. What's my current weapon? Oh, it's a two star. Uh, which weapon would you like to equip? Old, new. Yeah, this one seems better. Sell the one star one. We're at six. 
Damn, I need 12. I mean, I could sell my... You know what? Screw it. I'm oh, so close. Ah, uh, shoot. We're on... Are we on... No, we're on Stone Street. Where's the old street? I mean, I could go back to the barracks and start searching those things again. If I really wanted to. Or maybe we just, I don't know, go to the apothecary shop. See if there's stuff I can trade there. Sell. Yeah, we have nothing to sell here. Okay, so I need to make like 12 gold. Or not make a total of 12 gold, but make some more. See if I can trade. Will you buy anything? No. To see everything which can be sold at the shop, pick the unowned item. Have boost level, boost level, boost level. Okay, so we can make some healing stuff and sell it here. So I think we have to do this first. We got six of them. Chop it up. Once again, we're 30 minutes into the episode. So if you are enjoying this, leaving likes does help out a ton. Uh, again, let me know if you are planning on checking this out or not. Just curious out there of who is actually going to be playing it and all that. Plus, you never know. So, cool. We got that one. You're a level one alchemist. So now we can go to standard potion and then turn this actually into a potion, I think. Oh, we need a bottle. Potions bank open. Oh, you can store them here. Uh, oh, here's a bottle. Free bottle. Do you have to hold on to it forever, or does it use one? Okay, we're brewing the potions. We run out of empty bottles. Oh, no. Uh, sir. Can I sell you one? If I had two, I would get two of these. But I would need more bottles. Okay, I'm at seven. No way. I Yeah, that's all I need now. Does he sell bottles at all? Like, I don't know how much. Okay, they're 20 each. I'll buy 10. I think this will be a profit. Because if I can make seven of them and it was like two gold. Yeah, I think we should be good then. If I can make all of these, I think we'll be fine. I guess we'll see. We shall see what happens. We shall see. All right, two more. I wonder how the potions work when you're actually in combat, too. It'd be cool. All right. Level two. Nice. Let's sell some more. See, I, I knew getting them earlier would be... Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Well, I can go out and collect some more to make some more of that. All of this just to sell some or do a little bit of fishing. But to be fair, I'm assuming it's one of those things where, where once you buy it, when you buy it one time, you're you're set. Wait, can we actually catch? Don't tell me I can without it. Okay, now you need to be at least level two. Fishing with the homies like back in the day. 
I know, right? This is the guy that I need to go to. Bush, lurk behind. Somebody's actually level 48 fishing. Oh, wait, no, that's a fish or fisher woman. <laughs> I thought there was somebody actually doing that already. I gotta say, that's insane. Um, oh, right. I keep forgetting that you can, like, do this. I've not collected this card yet. Like, you can click and see where they're at. The north walls. Where is, so we're going to go to Forager, Brown Kelp, East Beach, and Jellyfish Landing. That's where we're headed. Because it, it's really the only option. Uh, as far as I can tell so far, we're getting, getting some. Grab this. And it's pretty easy too. I mean it's it's not like it takes too much time. Forge some more. Alright, get to the next one. Oh, we could buy some tools to make it faster. Oh, I I forget if I said it earlier, but I, I saw that um so when you're chopping down trees and stuff, there's a chance that, not a chance, but if you see another character that's like doing logging, I guess you can queue up with them together and you both cut a side of the tree and it goes faster, which is pretty cool. Like you don't actually have, I don't know if you have to interact or accept it or anything. I just hope it's one of those things where say if I'm chopping down a tree and then somebody else sees me, they can just walk right over and and do it because then it speeds up for both of you which seems like it would be pretty cool all right we got more kelp right here i'll do it another run like i'll get this i'll forage this forage this grab this one too we'll run back over we'll grab it and then we'll come back, we'll get these three again, and then we'll go back. That way I'm still, you know, doing something. And we're not just passing up on some free materials. Right, so let's go to the far one, maybe? Maybe not. Grab that. Jellyfish landing, eight players. Wait, can you actually, like, dance? <laughs> That's good. Oh, maybe it's oh, it shows the up because they're oh no, that because that person's nine. Why would I be thirteen and then have it down? Or, okay, I don't know. Like my total level is eighteen. Okay, we got some more stuff unlocked for foraging. Flounder. Modeled flounder. So I think that's where we actually have to go back and collect this. All right. Back over to, to this. Oh, you can actually see emotes and then track your quest right here too. That's cool. I 
Revan himself. Let's go to the uh, the town square. I'm gonna try chatting. Well, actually, no, right here at Fisher Spot. Anyone? Anyone know what green up or red down arrows are? Like, why do I have a like? This guy has two down reds. Give it a second. People too busy clicking the chat. You chatted? <laughs> Not sure. Nah, I'm not just going to say anything. Okay. What about over here? What about in the town square? Anybody else? Anyone know what the green up and red down arrows mean? There's probably somebody out there. I just want to know. I'm curious. Nobody's going to answer me. Can I sit on the bench? Okay. Dono walled. That's fine. No, 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 no. It's fine. Okay. I didn't want to know anyways. I'm sure we'll find out eventually or there's going to be that one one person in chat that's going to be like hey by the way this means this you probably figured it out by now and at the time of this probably recording going up I may find out by that but I guess it doesn't hurt to ask you know we're in a community or building a community of other players so writer Shores. Yeah, I can't really see anything. That's all right. We'll chop these up. But yeah, this game's cozy so far. It's pretty good. I mean, hey, for being completely free so far, I can't really complain. Let's see. What is it at player count wise while we're chopping these up? So I hit a, me a new peak of 17,000. As of two minutes during two minutes ago during this recording um so it'll be interesting to see over the I'll, I'll be watching it over the next few days it's got 60 69 percent positive reviews thus far Let's see so far we enjoy this game i'll say it does need a way uh way to change keybinds $5.99 monthly subscription isn't that bad to be honest. That's like the number one review right now. What else? You have run out of empty bottles. Trade. I'll buy like 10 more bottles. Hopefully we make enough for, I mean, what, how many we can make 11. This is giving me the RuneScape sense of progression in its own unique way. I'm loving it. Exploring the areas, the game's art style is fantastic and nothing like what I've seen before. For a free to play game, this is brilliant and has so much potential. It's another review. All right, here's the negative review up top. Let's see. We just proofread it before. This game, okay, I don't understand this negative review. This game truly excels at one thing, serving as a constant glaring reminder that RuneScape still exists. 
It's almost poetic how it nudges players to dust off their old accounts and dive back into a world they probably forgot they left behind. Uh, that's like the negative review. It's not even about the game. It's just like, hey, this game reminds you of RuneScape. Yeah, you. why would you play this when you could just play RuneScape? Okay. What, why? You know what my response to always stuff like that? If you want to continue playing a game that's been out for, you know, 20 years or so, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. But there's also nothing wrong with games, you know, coming out, trying to do the same thing, but a little bit different. I don't know. It's like, why not try both? If you, if you, I mean, if I play this, yes, it does remind me of RuneScape, of course. But at the same time. I'm also of the mind. Let me sell 10. We have enough? 13. All right, we're good. I'm of the same mind as I, I love trying new things. So even if it is something like, yes, there are a lot of games that come out. There's a lot of MMOs that release. And uh, don't click like older MMOs. MMOs. Um, but yeah. That's just my little little take I mean take it for what you want over the professions panel that the click here okay you've gained equipment which relates to fisherman profession profession equipment does not take up space in your backpack and instead appears here okay that's that's pretty cool I like that so now we have to go get a flounder which if I remember correctly is Yep, right down in the East Beach area. So we'll make our way south. Go grab this. We'll see if we can wrap up this quest. And then, uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, let's try fishing. Catch. I got it. You know what? Let's get my fishing to level one. I think everybody sees different fish here. Yeah, because what I'm fishing right now, other people aren't. It doesn't look like are seeing it. Especially if we end up uh, fishing spear. Okay. This game flipping rocks. Anyone know what the green or red arrows are? While I'm fishing. I just want to know. Pretty good for an indie team. No idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm just curious. Levels, maybe? It seems like nobody knows. <laughs> like, this guy's 18 minus. Uh, very based indeed. 16, 17. Hello, fellow, f hello, fisherman. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We got our, our fish. I bet you some of those people that we just saw are, are some of the same people I saw earlier. Alright, cool. 
I wonder if you see the same names. Like, okay, here. Am I going to see Rick's again? Okay, I do see Rick. Or what about Shaq? So it is all like the same instance. I don't see other oh, Shaq's. So we need to go to. Oh, shoot. Did I pass the person? It's on, it's on East Street or Eel Street. Crap, I did. Uh, hiding a note in a flounder fish. Okay, so we're going to go with tool belt. Use on paper. Continue. Order. I wish to purchase two sets. Okay, so now this has gone into my inventory. Okay, so now I can go like this. Use item on. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Talk to? So how do I actually put the note in the fish? Do I have to go to like a cooking place maybe? Let's see here. Modeled flounder. Use item on. Unless if I can, can I put this into like that? Oh, this is that unibrow. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Uh, talk to. Sell. One. Nothing. Okay. There's got to be a cooking area. The chef's place. Crap merchant. Rock shop. Um... Yeah, I think I'm assuming we'll have to like open it. We go back to the, the guard. Talk to. You have any suggestions? The chef. Delectable dab. Okay. That's where it is. And that's actually right here. So now we need to go over to the, there's the waiter. Where's the head chef? Probably back here somewhere. Kitchen. Uh, you can level up your chef profession in this room. You read the recipe book for the instructions. Chef recipe book. Bacon sandwich. Discover. Preparation table. Maybe it's over here. Backpack doesn't have any item. Chopping table? No. Batter. Ingredients bank. No. Oven. Head chef. Here we go. Head chef. Talk to. Uh, okay. Ingredients. Chop sink. Copper sink. I mean. Ice box. Oh, there's a chef's bounty board. That's kind of cool. Need to be level nine for the bounty board. Man. Maybe I'll go back to that guy and be like, okay, so I have both of these. How do I put them together? <laughs> I'll try it. 
but i don't know we're getting pretty close here so we may have to uh check back on this we'll see though where is we're going down to the let's go to the hooked hand all right talk to this guy harris slant what was i meant to do again you have to write a note which you can insert into his fetid flounder you'll see Need to sell the fetid flounder to the fish. Wait, so is it a specific type of flounder? Do I just not have that type? Modeled flounder. Oh, maybe I don't have it. Arrow tooth flounder. flowerly flounder where's the fetid flounder where do i get the fish again all right let me talk to him you need to write a uh which you will insert into a fetid flounder and you'll need to sell the fetid flounder to fishmonger uh Okay. Are these all just like regular flounders? Modeled flounder. So not discover. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. So right here, you can see the professions in each. Ah, so Hope Port is guard, chef, fisherman, forger, alchemist. Hope Forest is, is the next location. And then mine of Mantubu or Mantuban and Cranopolis. These are the that these you need subscriptions for, but they have new professions that get added. And I believe they're working on the fifth right now. Which is cool. I mean, that's a, a good start. Maybe we need to go back and talk to, let me say, do you sell like the flounders? I'm assuming maybe it's like a sickly kind of flounder. Modeled flounder, East Beach Beach. Right here. I mean, it tells you the name. Maybe it changes, though. Oyster, Starlet. Anyone know where that did wander? Oh, it's level 25 fishing. Damn, really? Oh. Overgrown pond. 
damn you gotta be 25 fishing i was trying to look through there but i didn't see it let me see or are they saying that it's uh okay i'm gonna try going over there if it requires level 25 fishing i mean i'll come back but it's not like we got any other choice but overgrown pond see this is what i like i mean if people ask questions and if i can answer i'll i'll answer too of course discover oh it is level 25 okay yeah there it is hey. need level 25 fishing to get it wow well i don't know if we'll get that one right away Jeez, that's it i mean it's only these three quests all right well we are going to actually have to chill right here if i can actually do some of this fishing i will do so uh but we'll see because it's gonna be a lot of uh, it seems like a little bit of grinding there for now though that's it thank you all for watching again thank you for hanging out uh and if you want announcements anytime i go live or post new videos join the discord everything is in there notifications all that for now that's it Thanks again for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.